waited for uh, my uh, body ticks to stop. Although they not, haven't necessarily done so, but uh, sufficient enough to continue on. Anyways, it is uh, seven seven fifty four on Saturday, uh, October third, and we're starting the vlog for the day for not the day, well the day. Well, this day is the forty eight hour long day. I mean, the, the, the day proceeds for. Uh, 48 hours it's all continuous this happens every once in a this happens on on a week on a regular and weekly basis sometimes I can control it I can control it sometimes I can't uh, more often than not I can't control how I end up sleeping and that's what produces the uh, extra long day uh, beyond the 24 hours because it, it appears as if one whole day uh, two whole uh, Two whole days uh, sort of forms into one day, and it, it it is a little daunting because you don't really have a time off. You don't have any uh, vacation time. Uh, there's no weekend. There's no uh, sort of real downtime in terms of taking the day off. There's always something to do. There's always uh, things to be done, some cleaning to be done, um, uh, some repair work to be done. There's always something to be done. In addition to if you get into a deep dive where you're doing a lot of research, uh, even the simplest the simplest task in terms of research, in terms of what we we'll call the perusing, uh, will take up to two three hours, and that's a good chunk of the day. That's basically uh, one, you know, one eighth of the day because three times three times eight is uh, twenty four of so twenty four hours. So uh, you break it up into eighths, and you've got one eighth of the day uh, gone, just for doing one bit of research. Now the thing is, three hours is re is really nothing, in comparison to if you're going to be doing uh, 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 some of the deeper dives that will t require a couple of days uh, before you finish with what you, with what with what you're doing. Uh, now, as it when you're doing a, a dive that takes a couple of days. You have these sort of stopping points where you know we can stop and rest, uh, but you know when you get up again, it's going to continue on with the way things were going. And this is sort of the same thing that's on on, on my research desk here, one of the observatory uh, that I'm just now setting up, uh, that, that sort of getting into work now. It's uh, already starting to produce results, but I do have to have uh, uh, I do have to have a year's worth of observation under my belt before I can start moving forward, really moving forward things. But the first observation, the first uh, a month of observation, which was basically September, uh, I looked at the images, I looked at what I, what I was able to bring in, it was actually something significant, and so uh, things I didn't know before uh, had, un had an understanding, this was, and it brought forward a better understanding of what I had been seeing before, and so it was something that was I considered to be uh, to be exciting, but well, you know, it, 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 other people may not. But of course, I can't give you the full details yet because uh, a, a large chunk of what you do needs to be sort of sequestered. It needs to be hidden, uh, not necessarily brought out all at once, because you need to make sure make sure what you're seeing. And then once you have that that sort of surety, and that takes about a year to do. Then you can start bringing out some. Okay, this, oh, we can bring out the uh, image. We can bring out the uh, information a bit at a time, images at a time, because they're images. We can put, put them up here or here, wherever the graphics will go. Uh, I even have I even have now graphics going above. If I'm doing a, uh, a YouTube stroll, uh, so the YouTube stroll will go over here or it will go over here, and then you have the channels coming up here. Some have even gone on the sides. I'm starting now putting them sideways, and of course, there's enough room above my head uh, to put a graphic as well. So I'm basically framed by the graphics in terms of depending on, on on the number of channels I'm talking about. Sometimes these channels, you know, we talk about a grouping of channels because there there is an issue going on uh, with the different people that are common, even though they are independent of each other. They have a very similar situation going on. Let's say back to school. So you want to have you're seeing stuff on the back of school that's uh, on four or five different channels. 
on YouTube. And they're talking about their experiences. In it. And you want to bring all these experiences together so to do a comparative uh, uh, with it. And you're going to need all the graphic space. So <laughs> you do end, I do end up being surrounded by graphic, but this gives you, uh, a, a, you know, because I've, I've gone back and started watching my, my own blogs. I think, well, it's, you should, sometimes you think, oh, it's enough, I've done the editing, I don't need to go back and watch the whole thing. But, but you do, you do need to go back and see how you've done things, how, how your speech is, and a, a number of different things will come into play in terms of uh, how you understand things. Uh, needed to some swipe some swipe some stuff away from my phone. I have a second setup here. Uh, uh, I haven't gone back to my lives yet, but I will be going back to the lives uh, probably within a week. Within a week or so, I'm not quite there yet. Uh, so that's where the delay is coming in. So as it things always pop up. You never ha there is no set schedule here, and that's kind of the way things are. Getting the framing just right is is an issue. <laughs> uh, how the video gets framed really determines how the, the quality of what you see, and it makes for a good discussion or it makes for a bad discussion if it's sloppy and all over the place. And although yes, I am tired. I'm perpetually tired. I'm always tired, and that's because you know it's twenty four seven. There, I rarely ever get the right amount of sleep. But that's neither here nor there. It is, uh, oh, let's give you the proper time, 22 hours and 40 minutes into the day of Sunday, I think it's the uh, 4th, from what I remember, it should be the 4th, so I did do, yeah, it's the 4th, it's October the 4th, let's see if I've, I'll know in editing if I've made a mistake, if I've said September. Because I'm now ed I'm editing September's vlogs. Uh, September is going up. I think the uh, the September twelfth to fourteen just went up. So slowly but surely we're closing the gap, and that is a task to do. I've created a GIF for the YouTube stroll, particularly for the path of the YouTube stroll. And it's usually a couple seconds in length. It starts off with it starts off with Yowie vlogs. It's our life. Uh, it's, um, it's where I lose track of everything. You, you lose track as you go along, but you'll see it there. These are all the different parts of it. Uh, let me see if I can try this again. It's Yowie vlog. It's our life. Leroy's. Uh, from the Leroy's, you go to Our Family Nest. From Our Family Nest, from Family Five Vlogs. And then from Family Five Vlogs, you go to Clintus. That's the end point, is Clintus. Then from there, you have the subpaths. Clintus has the RV subpath, where you go watching these RV, RV videos. And this is where I am right now. I'm on the Clintus side path. I'm at Diary of a Family. And then uh, I have one... I was one video behind. Now I have another video to go. Uh, it's their last week in St. Louis. It showed, they showed how their tires get changed. It's a nice uh, uh, on their uh, on their RV and everything. It's a big RV. This is a huge fifth wheel. He's got a nice truck to, to haul it with to deal with the, all the, uh, the weight and everything. Uh, and they've got a nice family too. So it's, it's not only the te technical side of things, technical side of things, and how they do all the different repairs. But it's also you see the family family aspect as well, so it's it, it's a good balance of things. Uh, prior to that, I was what I was at uh, Loftus party of six, no party of six or party of five. I can't remember. I'll get the actual. Uh, I can actually get it now. <laughs> I'll just simply go out to the. Uh, Okay, I've got to open up a new uh, window, a new uh, thing. There you go. And where were we here? Okay. 
It's a Loftus Party of Six. That's where we're at. And they have a nice off-grid cabin in the woods. That's what it was. They were sort of uh, giving you a house tour of this tiny little cabin that's on Airbnb. So if you want to do off-grid and you want to do Airbnb, well, now you can do off-grid Airbnb because there's this cabin that's available to do off-grid uh, off -grid, off -grid Airbnb. And it's a nice old uh, type of cabin. It's got a nice uh, gas stove, gas uh sort of fireplace. Uh, it, I, I, I am the type of person the, where, where I go, everything is wood rather than being gas, it's all wood. Uh, including the stove, it's a wood stove. And it, 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 the, the wood does a nice job. It, it, so it, 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 it's, it's something that you can uh, indeed work with. So that's, that's something I do enjoy. I enjoy uh, uh, these off paths, it fills up the uh, what you can and can't do in terms of what you see on on, on the uh, on, on YouTube, and it re does replace reality TV. It replaces my cable. As for what I ate for dinner, I had an amazing lunch or breakfast. Actually, I had breakfast with my parents. We had uh, a, a Syrian type of dish, a Pan Asian type of dish. Uh, which uh, is uh, a stuffed zucchini and stuffed grape leaves. And you have the, the zucchini ha is in the tomato sauce, and the cabbage leaves I have uh, on the side with uh, a nice tart yogurt. Uh, I really prefer a nice tart yogurt. And so it, was a, it was a good lunch. And then for just now, I had my next meal, uh, and it's a version of sasabi. Sasabi is a basically a Japanese dish that's that, that's based off of spam. Spam is your uh, it's an unflavored uh, type of uh, of uh, ground pork uh, stuffed into a can, and they slice it off. Uh, it really doesn't have a lot of flavor to it, uh, unless of course you like fat. <laughs> Uh, for myself, the way we do with uh, uh, the uh, dish called gibby, the gibby is um, a ground beef, or it could be pork as well, it could be a number of different meats, and it depends on the spicing that you use that determines where you are in your, in your, in, in your geography of Asia. So if you're central to West Asia, you're using cinnamon, you're using cumin, you're using allspice. These are your primary flavors. If you move east, you can shift up the uh, spicing to do ginger, uh, Thai pepper, and I used uh, both star anise and, um, what do you call it, um, a soy sauce. And it had a very nice balance of flavor. I just got the balance right today. It is tricky to get the, the 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 flavor right in terms of its pairing of what you have to drink or to you know on the side uh, because if what you have on the side clashes, the other thing that this does happen, it clashes with uh, the main meal. What ends up happening is your sides end up sort of causing the main meal to taste bad. But where uh, if, the, if the if your sides are proper, they they balance well. It enhances the flavor of the main meal. And that's what I talk about, the sides being a proper accessory and not clacking with the flavors that are on the main plate. And that's what I had today for dinner. It was a very nice uh, first attempt at sasabi, making the spam meat. I've got a good uh, f version of the of an East Asian gibbe. So it's, it's, it's got the structure of a gibbe and... But now it's pork and it's a, a ginger uh, Thai uh, Thai chili um, uh, type of uh, spice mixture. It is Monday, October 5th at uh, just uh, 
hours and 47 minutes into the day of, into the day. That's right, 4 o'clock in the morning, four, oh, four, actually 5 o'clock in the morning, it's uh, 4.47. You only talk about the hours and minutes of the day, so there's four, we're 4 hours into the day, 24 minutes, and, and then 47 minutes in. So we're 4 hours and 47 minutes in the day. As far as, you, and like I said, we're ending the vlog. We're ending the vlog for uh, the long one day weekend. And uh, in a little bit, I'll be um, about an hour or so when I finish the gaming and meditation, uh, which go together now. Uh, I will be. Starting the vlog for Monday, I am expecting uh, uh, parcel today, also on Wednesday. So, look for a, a packaging segment of uh, on this video. Uh, well, next video, next uh, the next day. I should say next vlog because it's not going to be the next day. It's just going to be a couple hours from now. This is the problem with with uh, having a twenty four hour day and vlogging twenty four hour twenty four seven. When the next day is is not not is not in terms of the perspective is not necessarily when the next day is in terms of reality in terms of actual time it's just simply a couple hours later. Uh, but the thing is, the mind doesn't necessarily comprehend this. And as we go back to the old standard of saying, well, uh, it's the next day. And so what happens is it, it's almost like you're living the same day twice. And this is how, in many cases, a, a, a short period of time can seem very long. But when you look back at the overall... overall uh, time frame in terms of where you've been and how far you've come, well, although you'll see some degree of improvement, there is still a lot longer to go. There's still a lot f much, much f more ahead of you than you initially anticipated, but uh, again, you put it on your, your list to, of things to do, and uh, some of the stuff gets done, some of the stuff just drops off the list and moves on to the next day. It's pushed it's pushed forward. And there's sort of this type of dance of, of what you get done and what you get achieved that sort of makes or breaks you to, to a certain degree. But... I don't know how to say this. I've just kind of lost my thought. You begin to realize that even the small things are worth it because if it weren't for the small successes, uh, and this is looking back on things, this is where a lot of times, you, you know, expectations never work because a lot of your realizations in terms of achievement often come in hindsight. It's after you've made the achievement. During the actual process, there's a lot of fretting and anticipation and anxiety because you don't see the progress that you're making being that great, particularly if it's a project that is a long-term project. I mean, I've been working on this new solar project that I'm working on in terms of the in terms of the observatory. I've been planning it out, saw certain things for more than a year ago. Now that I got down to it, it's taken me a month to sort of start beginning to see things and patterns that I, I sort of thought were there, but they're there in a manner that I never expected it to be. So you have a success, but I also understand that, that this is, in terms of the overall observation, it's going to be a couple of years before I get some degree of experience and say, okay, this is what's going on here. And from a note from atmospheric physics that there is, although patterns are similar, 
there is no real repetition of pattern. There's always some slight difference. So if we're never going into the same environment, the exact same environment, then it's going to be new every single time. And there'll be things you don't know. I mean, to understand this, all you have to do is track your weatherman. Look, look, look at local weather service. How often is the weather service wrong about temperature and what's actually happening outside? You'll see how, rea how, how what the reality is about these predictions. Look at the predictions for look, look, look at the predictions for the, for chronic gas. You can't say the word on YouTube, so we'll say chronic gas. Look at the conditions there. And I noticed that, that when you use the term, the term other than chronic gas, you use the actual events going on, that Google can pick that up, what you're saying, and they put the proper labels underneath that, that they, 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 where, where you can get guidance from the government on what to do about the, your, your chronic gas problem. Well... <laughs> And that's why I call it the Great Fart Panic of 2020. We are more concerned on about chronic gas. Even though it's always been around, we've always had chronic gas. Uh, it's it, it become a, of a heightened concern. <laughs> and that's just kind of the nature of the world. We live in a world that's bathed in paranoia, bathed in uncertainty, and bathed in, unfortunately, bullshit. 